Hello and welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the Royal Rumble campaign where I'm trying to beat the game on an impossibly difficult uh, set of mods. And I am close-ish in getting there. Still two more factions to be eliminated. One of them is uh, the Marauders. Destroy their primary base and that we will do. It is time to take some good old revenge. So join me when we are actually killing them. Let me get the team. Good, here we go. So Lyrical and Shinrod, Hayward, Aviator are all present. Halo and Epidelius are joining us. I took a careful approach with a few like deployables and a drone, which I wanted to test out. Besides, I think we had another drone, right? The deployable phase drone. I want to check that one out as well. Uh, we got a pretty sizable war suit over here. Shinrod is going to take a Mesian suit and I just want to see specifically um, since the chassis of uh, the um, of the specialist is not necessarily one that is like high damage. I just want to see what uh, the suit itself does. So we're going to join and uh, are going to rumble through them I suppose. Good, we landed. Let's see what we're dealing with. Eliminate all hostiles. And we're already kind of at the edge of the map. We got so many soldiers. So I want to build up a nice defensive fortress. And then we're taking it from there. I think one of uh, the biggest tasks will be not to overextend. Yeah, I figured this will be a densely populated map. Okay, let's see if we can kill these guys. If we had high ground that would be even better, but I'm trusting on the 90 plus percent shots here. Thumper moves up. Again, we gotta be careful. All I'm interested in for now <clears throat> is to establish the base and take it from there. And there are even more over here. to use our of our actions even the free ones finally aviator moves up be a kill on the cleanser I we're losing some high ground option with the bus stop sucks a bit but it is what it is Oh, 
Cool cover here. Not sure if it is a wise decision to put the turrets all the way up to the front. That will likely pull more enemies. Staying a little bit behind, that ledge gives a nice natural defense against anyone who is standing further back. Let's demo his cover. Very nice. Enemies down. Seventy percent is still good enough. Very nice cereal. Very nice cereal. It's killing time. Now the problem with a multitude of um, characters is kind of run into that awkward position where can't really feel uh, put m many more into decent cover Question is, where do we want to put the others? Let's move already. Not sure if I want to place a turret here, but I could. At least could secure that side without pulling more. Good. And now <laughs> the suit. Oh wow. Okay, so jetpack is for free twice. The rocket barrage. Oh, oh wow. Five to nine. Well, that is massive. Minigun. Eight points. Uh, deploys the shield, granting cover to allies. Decreases defense to the user, but increases armor and dodge. Oh, okay. Well, we do have defense apparently as well. Now that is so OP, the suit. I don't know what to say. Let's place the shield down here. We're up to six armor. That's crazy. Epithelius, no, no great position okay, for you. On Overwatch. On Overwatch. The scarred one. Is that a unique enemy? So for starters, these guys, as always, seem to be completely ineffected by <clears throat> the
tactical analysis, which I think is a bit of bullshit. It's yet another one, uh, one of uh, these oversights of uh, the mods. <coughs> But yeah, okay, we can play without tactical analysis. It's not the end of the world. It just means I'll play more carefully. There is not even a time uh, time limit on that entire mission here. Shouldn't have come up here. Too many overwatches waiting for you, my friend. And did you just connect yourself with the boss? Okay, well, that means we can kill the boss rather easily. How did... how was the turret killed, please? One of these guys seemed to have used uh, Whiplash. Nasty ability. Okay, two guardians can be killed there rather easily. These attacks are pointless. Good. Lots of opportunities with um, <clears throat> with a ma mind melts here. Holy Warrior is a very double-edged sword for them. And apparently, we've just triggered like everyone. They are still trying to get onto our side of the uh, of the canal, but we are not letting that happen. Changing position. Well, maybe we're letting it happen. Who knows? <clears throat> we're slowly running out of actions. Okay, well, well, well. Dranks needs some healing. No problem. Halop has got your back, buddy. This here is the most important target for now. Deployable turret. Very likely going to get killed, but that's okay. I don't see any problem with that. You want some more? Uh, 
Let's first of all try to get that guardian over there. No. 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 Yes. That has just killed the boss in one shot. Um, not the cleanser. But we're taking the other guardian. Okay, well. Aviator can be part of our front line. He has enough defense to do that. That's a two for one kill. Who's keeping score? Well, I am keeping score, my friends. I am keeping score. Handing over teamwork. And now it's Jarenx's turn. Putting another deployable turret down. More meat for the meat grinder. Guardian killed. And with his uh, with him his friend Another cleanser. Another guardian. No. No. Yes. Well, I definitely saw that. Yet another guardian. Lots of mind melts that we have gotten down. I like it. Cleanser. Marauder. Couple of marauders. There is another guardian. But every single kill effectively gets two of them down. Good, we're continuing with a Celeta turret. Can't really reload because it is burning. Uh, we could deploy the phase drone. I think we're going to do exactly that. Petilius moves up. And I create a front line of expendable stuff. Marking this guardian, just to make it easier. And then this should be falling damage. Well, no, apparently not. Drone deploy. Hmm, okay, well, no, we don't want that. Moving all the way to here with the assassin. Getting 
Getting the Guardian. Uh, or not. Let's try to hand over another Comet Presence to the drone. Okay, cool. Oh god, I did not see that they only have literally two uh, arm uh, ammunition. Drone deploy could be in here. Very good. Let's shield Shinrod with that massive armor of his. And we're flying over. Mini rockets. I can already tell you. Repositioning into full cover, indestructible full cover, that is. Mini gun. It feels almost unfair to use that. Flies over. <laughs> it just kills all of them. Okay, uh, yeah, well, wow. Then we have big fat cluster rockets. The other option is to just kill someone the good old fashioned way. But we wanted to check out the suit, didn't we? Good. Let's go, baby. Holy shit, that is a lot of damage. Shinro just single-handedly removed one entire side by himself. That is how strong the suit is, and you can even take cover in it, which was one of my smaller concerns. But there is simply not a concern left. The suit have answered all of the questions. Is it good? Yes. Is it completely and utterly imbalanced? Absolutely. Without a shadow of a doubt. Is it the best suit in the game? Likely one of the best, yeah. It's just crazy. He killed six people by himself and that only with a reposition and a blue action, not even a turn ending action. On top of it, he has defense, which makes it harder to hit him. He has like five or uh, five armor or so, which makes it again very unlikely that uh, he takes a lot of damage reposition twice relative still relatively fast with a suit
It's interesting to see that they wouldn't go for the turrets, but rather for Aviator. Uh, but maybe we, they can kill the turrets. <clears throat> they were just running out of targets. Uh, that's not good because I think we're going to pull additional enemies. Oh, there's another group. Well, may we have been lucky that we have been repositioned. These guys really do have a lot of actions. I was so careful not to get pulled in. I thought I had enough alternative targets, but apparently that's not the case. All right, revival protocol to deal with a stun. Then a bit of a healing. Go, catch him up. And whilst we're at it, give him an aid protocol <clears throat> because I want to make sure that we're not immediately grabbed again. APL, yes, <clears throat> takes over that position. And can we hit enough cover is the question. I think that one is okay. Falls down and gets them into big, big trouble. Kill moves up. Uses the high ground to her advantage. Just trying at this point to take a couple of shots, make sure that all of these guys are down. Thumper moves up. Running and gunning, moves up to here. Okay. 
All right, we are going to hide behind the cover after taking a shot. But first it's time for a shot. Very nice. And I think Gremlin heal could be something for the turret here because we need the turret as a mimic beacon X-ray neutralized 70% shot unfortunately missed we're going into half cover, maybe because I don't want to be pulled with Inquisitor. Phase drone moves up. And that was a nice hit. We need more shields, so let's do exactly that. Unfortunately, we can't do it every turn, but every second turn. So we'll put ourselves into cover. And I wonder if standing over here would be an okay move to do because we can't really be pulled, but we can get rid of this guy. Overwatching. Let's kill one more. Ah, that is unfortunate. We're in the open. They might kill the collector assassin, but I wanted... I wanted uh, targets for them. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah, they are going to kill him. Marauders are the strongest ones by a margin. Very nice, that was great. Good protection. Uh, Thumper might go down. There's really not much I could do about it. He's just being pulled in one direction. Maybe the stun has saved his life because the AI typically disregards stun creatures. Unless, of course, there's no other target whatsoever, but there are targets that they are aware of, so I should ignore him. Okay, let's start with the obvious choices here. Revival protocol for Thumper.
Halop begins to heal him as well. And begins to heal yet again. Time to kill. The Marauders are going to be our main targets because they actually are by far the most dangerous of the enemies. Good. Salutate turret moves up. Face drone finishes the cleanser here. Face drone isn't that bad. I actually like what I'm seeing. Equally, this drone here is good as well. I mean, you can get uh, three hit points every single round. Apparently, no maximum amount, how often that could happen. A couple more marauders are going down. to take care of that marauder he's an elusive one but it won't help him against the minigun hair trigger oh fantastic I like it well that's a straight up overwatch Good overwatch and we'll just take over that position. Inquisitor says thank you. Not sure if I've forgotten an enemy. Oh, okay. Well, if that's the only one left... Then this is going to become easy-er. Good, close one. Thumper almost died, but it was a good mission. So the trick with the Marauders, as far as I have understood, is you got to make sure that they don't have high ground where they can pull you, uh, pull you up into the high ground. Kill the Guardians first when they have mind melded, then the Marauders, then the um, Purifiers or Cleansers or whatever they were called. And look at that, we got Salvo. Great. 
Shinrod got a big fat promotion. By the way, this armor is absolutely overpowered. It's not even a question. It's not even a question. Uh, before we continue, we had another weapon available. Okay, a couple of things here. Um, Should you wish us to, Commander? No, Raiders, they are already dead. Recruit Engineer. This wouldn't be bad because we can finally get the uh, the last area. This is a nice option as well to immediately do uh, an upgrade. And this is potentially something that I'm going to start with because Hawkbutt and his uh, friend Shooter have not yet gotten the uh, highest rank. Hawkbutt gets the dodge. And that actually should be a good investment of time. We have more things to do, guys, one after the other. Restoration, yes please, and in all honesty, you're better off uh, with that weapon, uh, Drenks. I appreciate that you tried it out. The shotgun is unfortunately not that good. Soldier bonds, you can bond with Halop. Oh yeah, okay, there you go. Got a new friend. Good. Then I've seen something else. Uh, there is a new weapon. Scarred Balpap. 10 to 11 points. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. Oh, it's actually quite good damage. Modification Bull Pop makes it available for massive damage. Bonus critical damage. Clip size is uh, unfortunately only 2. Okay, can't be upgraded. The question is, is 10 to 11 damage? I mean, that's really good damage. Is that better than six clip size, four free reloads? Potentially not. Good idea. Failed a bit on the execute. It's not that the bulb hubs are exactly the strongest weapons. It's a bit like with um, with uh, old guard for thee, right? Um, I mean, if you compare it, it has rupture in squad side. Cool. Yeah, that's uh, that's not bad. But this is not the role of a reaper. It's good if you have like for whatever reasons two reapers uh, in a single mission, but. Yeah, superior expanded magazine and superior scope, better. Well, now we eradicated uh, that second last faction. I should also put uh, da -da -da -da. Lyrical, where is he? Shinrod. Well, you get to play with the toys, but you are not allowed to keep them, my friend. Sorry. But the person who's actually going to keep them for now is our good friend Euler. Nisian Battlesuit. There we go. Haven't checked the Black Flame Grenade yet, but... It seems like with all of the extra explosives that the Mesian Battlesuit already has, there's really not that much need for anything else. You can actually like put a utility item up, uh, up here. And 
Apparently this one is a great invention. I want to double check one more thing hey, uh, because we do have uh, the, uh, I think the means to do it. We had a few options here. Laser grenade, Elarium core, deals high damage and penetrates even the thickest armor. I have no idea if that's better than the plasma grenade. Plasma typically is better than laser, so why would you put a laser grenade in there? No idea. Knockback enemies, okay. We might want to invest into a few rift anchors as well. But what I really wanted to do is get that massive, where is it? Where is it? That, uh, that the brain cord, that massive item made from the remains of a custodian grandmaster, the device can interfere with the advent network tower debuffing all advent troops in the map that sounds like something i would take now who is most capable of carrying such an item i think if we give it into the trusted hands of dilly g that would be a good idea Powerful psionic signal to weaken advent troops. I mean, it first of all happens on the entire map, apparently. Secondly, it only takes one action point and doesn't end the turn. So that's good as well. Um, I get the feeling we're completely over preparing for the last map our inspiration did prove beneficial hello commander good we have so many items that we could get when i have a full report available um huh. now this looks interesting i got a special request here from one of our donors it reads an intriguing offer for your listeners. Good, we're seeing that the psionic training is coming almost to an end. Uh, oh, cool, the Dark Elders. Um... Fishing Town Disturbance, Chrysalid Infector, Elite Collector Assassin, and Dark Elders. It, to me, sounds like uh, that is the whole, uh, the whole Newfoundland mission. It even is in the right uh, location. And we got a lot of chrysalids. See, just for the sake of it, I would want to do it. Um, Plus there are Dark Elders, that in itself is also fun. We didn't have a chance to get to the Dark Elders yet, right? So uh, the only thing, uh, the only one that is left over is Cult of Jericho and Dark Elders, I think, is not touchable. Okay. Well, we want to get that last resistance contact. Hmm. Yeah, not a, not optimal. I would have wanted to kill the Cult of Jericho right away, but we're anyways requiring to build the power relay to finally get up some more power so that we can upgrade this here.
and we still have a few things that we want to uh, upgrade there so not a problem we'll go to the mission and I will find a way of uh, creating an interesting team that wants to fight against uh, the chrysalids this uh, very much looks to me like one of those uh, nasty chrysalid missions in the meantime thank you so much for watching and if you want to uh, push back the chrysalids we need to clean out the infestation and the only way how that is possible is by clicking the like button because that is going to spray a massive amount uh, of uh, vermin uh, de-vermin anti-vermin spray onto the next battlefield and will help us out thank you and have a good one bye bye